on today's episode, we're going to be interviewing two students who got outstanding GCSE results. So it's continuing from last week. We're carrying on with the celebrations, but we're finding out what makes a good student and how do these parents achieve such success through their students as well. So without any further ado, let's welcome our guest for today. I've got on my left Ahrar Arib, and I've also got his very respected father, Mufazal Puya. And uh, I think it's worth mentioning here that um, our respected father over here, Mufazal Puya, he is head of accounts at Channel S. So he's a very respected member of the Channel S family, and it's lovely to have you in the studio today, alongside, of course, your son. So uh, if I can come to you first of all, because of course you are the father, and apna koshto chara success, it's impossible, I have to say. So uh, what kind of things did you do as a father that led to his success today? Actually, I'm shop shome oke boli, jai kichi koro, amat porto taraf thei kono problem nai, but tuma ke bhalo result korte hobe. It will be main target. And she jokhon jati hai, chhame oke help kori thi. Baba eta korte, baba eta korte, me help kori thi. So it will be boro jinis. Baba abong chhele madhe ekta good understanding thakte hobe. Jodi bhalo understanding thake, ta kono chhele ra bhalo result kore, tarak confident pai. To shete hi aamono hai ekta bhalo. इम्पोर्टेंट very close মানে সব সময় কোহরদারি করতে হবে রেজাল্ট কি না এটাতে খারাপ রেজাল্ট হচ্ছে বাবা এটাতে প্রেসার দাও এই করতে হবে কন্টিনিউয়াস ফলো আপ এটা না করলে আসলে একটা ইমপ্যাক্ট হয়ে যায় আসলে তাহলে কন্টিনিউয়াস ফলো আপ এই কথাটা আমার খুব পছন্দ হয়েছে যে মানে রেজাল্ট বেশি খারাপ হওয়ার আগে একটা রেকটিফাই করা হ্যাঁ এটা এটা কন্টিনিউয়াস করতেই হবে আপনাকে আমি তো ও তো বলতেছি আমি খুব ভালো রেজাল্ট করেছি যখন রেজাল্ট পাওয়ার পর আমার কাছে আসছে আমাকে জরায় ধরছে প্রথমেই তো আমি তার হার্টবিট শুনতেছিলাম ধপ 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 আমি লেট হিম কুল ডাউন অনেক কম ধরে রাখছি বুঝছেন কুল ডাউন হওয়ার পর তারপর আমি তাকে আদর করলাম না আসলে আসলে এটা একটা মানে হার্টবিট রেসিং হার্টবিটের মতো রেজাল্ট হয়েছে আমরা শুনেছি আমি স্পষ্ট টের পাচ্ছিলাম ধপ 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 আপনার নিশ্চয়ই হার্টবিট অনেক জোরে হচ্ছিল इट्स अ वेरी हैप्पी ओकेजन সো অফ কোর্স ইফ উই ইফ উই কাম টু দ্য গেস্ট দ্য রিজন व्हाই উই হিয়ার টুডে ইজ অফ কোর্স ইওর আউটস্ট্যান্ডিং রেজাল্টস সো উড ইউ লাইক টু শেয়ার উইথ আস व्हिच সাবজেক্টস ইউ ডিড এন্ড অলসো व्हाট ইউ গট ইন দোজ সো আই ডিড 13 GCSEs I did uh, maths, further maths, IGCSE maths, English language, English literature, biology, physics, chemistry, geography, uh, computer science, and short course philosophy and ethics. That's if I'm not missing anything. So that's a lot of GCSEs, <laughs> yeah. and to do well in so many GCSEs is doubly difficult. So, especially since your cohort's been affected by COVID, etc., yep. how would you say you stayed afloat and managed to do so well despite all of these adversities? I think mainly it's paying attention in class. I think you, people underestimate how important that actually is because, I mean, yeah, you can go home and do the content again, revise it again, but if you are paying attention in class, there's no need for that. And when you do, it's just you know developing your understanding that you already have so something that you've both i think touched on is this element of consistency like at home before the results um managed to get worse you're you're following up and same with yeah. you like with class notes you're making sure that you're on top of everything and uh with independent learning of course that's very important with gcse's and levels university mm, yeah. as we're going forward so what kind of skills have you uh, picked up along your process here which will help you further down the line definitely consistency and keeping on time you know time management if you can't i mean to have consistency over all the subjects i mean i can put all my time into maths but not you know do well in english but having good time management lets you put time into everything spread out evenly and then inshallah if you do that you can get good results in everything not just a few so would you say it's a good idea to put in equal amount in all subjects in terms of investment or uh, spend more time on things that you're uh, perhaps struggling with oh i, I mean It's not equal, definitely not equal. I mean, you'd want to put more time into the subjects you're good at because you'll find it more fun, but <laughs> Enjoy, yeah. when it comes down to it, you, you have to put more sub- time into subjects that you're not getting as well grades in, and that will really help you get the best grades. And you're going towards very sort of STEM-related subjects as you'd like yeah. to study computer science at university, which I'm very excited <laughs> to hear. So uh, which A-levels are you pursuing in the future? Hopefully, 
I'll keep four A-levels, maths, further maths, physics and computer science. And something which I found really useful as we were chatting just before the show started was how you made that decision of which A-levels to choose. Right, so um, I think it's important to keep a goal in mind and have, knowing computer science is the goal. I looked at universities' pages, I mean they show your applications, they show and they tell students what they're looking for, recommend the subjects and I think for most of the big universities, you know, Imperial, UCL, Oxford, Cambridge, they look at maths, further maths, computer science and physics as the main four, so that's how I chose my levels. Was there anyone that inspired you to pursue this kind of path in computer science? Yeah, I know a few people who are doing computer science degrees right now, you know, family, friends, and they said, yeah, these are what you should be looking at. So you're definitely looking forward to A-levels and university, of yeah. course, but Abni or Baba Hishabe, you're looking forward to his future. So can you describe his, his childhood and how he got to this stage that he's at now? Childhood is a shop 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 Quick, I'm cook quickly shake the bar, eight amount of cook halaglo. Tahun tiki budla my bolom de tumor actually ambition taking mainly don't shape a competent short of a tiki. Then it's better to go because from the beginning that focus will later. It's okay, good, fantastic. Now Lapni Baba Shiva should identify growth and you decided to provide yeah. extra support uh, yeah, with regards to with I'm involved with the Tarji achievement, it's actually fifty percent achievement. I am not telling you the hundred percent. Because A level Jotokon Putunto she Charity is a Napai, I'm the hundred percent Bolbuna. But a Howard Pore, that admission Howard Pore Bolbuna, hundred percent. Otherwise, fifty percent. You're very, very polite. I mean, J result I'm Roshun Tiburati, I think it's reason for a full celebration, Ginti. You're thinking that this is part of the stage. Yeah, yeah, fifty percent. It's, it's not 100%. But yet. given the skills that he's picked up through GCSEs, yeah. I mean, the, the future is bright. I mean, we can hope yeah, definitely, for good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But take, actually, so far, I'm Jani, Abner, GCC J syllabus, she took into at least 30% of the A level. G. Not the. So, okay, one hard work to achieve his goal. So, from the beginning, I will be to make a So, I think for, for any of our viewers who are watching, I mean, there are so many tips that we've picked up so far. There's the yeah. tip about consistency, mm -hmm. uh, being on top of classwork. That's something that I think is. Um, quite underrated, in fact. Like yeah. people don't mm -hmm. tend to talk about classwork. They say like uh, read the book in advance, but people tend to do that if they mm -hmm. can. And uh, consistency is, I think, something that's very, very important. Yeah, and very then important. The, the thing that you're saying, which is, it's important to celebrate, but also I'm on the end goal to key. You know, we're always. Uh, yeah, I like, you both mentioned that. You mm -hmm. mentioned yeah. that the end goal was university, and you're saying like A level is uh, a way to get there as well. So, are there any teachers you'd like to give a shout out to who perhaps <laughs> um, you think uh, helped you get these? Fantastic results. Yeah, any teachers? I mean, I had a tuition teacher. He, he was he just finished a university maths degree, but since I did three maths exams, I was uh, yeah. He really helped with that. As in, one to one teaching, it helps with you know, having someone young, you know, talk to you is really helpful. I mean, with school teachers, I had my DT teacher. I think with design technology, I was coming a bit close to not getting a nine. As in, I. Actually, I thought I wasn't going to get a nine, but uh, because my NEA, which is like half the grade, my coursework, it wasn't to a standard of a nine. So that meant with my theory exam, with my written exam, I had to do really well, which Alhamdulillah, I, I, I managed to do it. But yeah, I, I, I basically lost hope, but my, my DT teacher said, you can do it. So good mentors are obviously very, very important. And there's a mentor that you have who's currently not in the studio, but I think we have to mention, which is a mother. And she must have had an enormous yeah. impact. You're both <laughs> nodding. So, uh, what kind of impact did his mother have on his life? Yeah, definitely like to be that impact. Um, uh, she always inspired Korea among right time. Gumti go thai bolo je poor lakh ko ro poor lakh chhara the gun go the. Ita amra amader family structure tei rokom. Amra always poor lakh di ja kichu kori. Among amader A level amader jato family member ase. Shobai khub bhalo kore chhe. Mashallah. It's so you've also got inspiration from your family right, members yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And so with your DT teacher and that mentor and your family members, you've got a lot of inspiration. But what I like is you're utilising all of that and you're also working hard. You're not being complacent and thinking yeah. that they all did well, I'll do well too. So you're also putting in that hard work, which is, I think, another very important message for our viewers, that it's important that we harness all the support that we get from our family, from our friends, from our mentors, and that we put that to good use and then uh, pursue education mm -hmm. as, as you're planning to do. So what do you hope to do with... Uh, 
potential computer science degree because that's obviously very, very ambitious. Yeah, as in maybe machine learning, AI, that kind of stuff really interests me. But obviously, uh, my choices are open, software engineering. But I think with the A-levels I chose, computer science might not be the only path. I mean, I could still change my mind during my A-levels, maybe engineering or economics. This, but with computer science, the end goal is, is, is interesting. I've always had an interest in it from the beginning. So which would you say would be your favorite GCSE that you did? My favorite GCSE, I think. Maths. Maths was my best I mean, you did, you did the extra maths one as yeah, well. Maths. So that, that <laughs> yeah. tells us that you must have liked maths. Yeah, I think it would be maths, yeah. yeah and let me tell you one story, yeah. what happened. The exam, next day exam, uh, maths exam. He's playing game or something. I said, why didn't you do the maths? <laughs> go, no, 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 don't worry about it. What do you mean don't worry? If I do not study, I will get A. If I do the study, I will get the, uh, no, I'll get nine. If I do not, uh, if I do the study, I'll get nine. So don't worry about it. <laughs> well, that, that's that very assuring. Yeah. That's very, very assuring. And uh, you mentioned how your heart was beating faster when you, when you got the results. So obviously yeah. it, meant a, it meant a lot to you. Yeah. But what kind of tips would you have for people who perhaps didn't quite get what they wanted to? Because there might be some people in that boat who are watching, they're looking up to you, but they're thinking, how might I do differently in A-levels to fix things? What kind of tips would you have for those people? I think when you do get your GCSE results, if you didn't get what you were expecting, or if you didn't do as well as you thought, you look back on what you did. And from there, you can find your mistakes. Maybe it was time management. Maybe you didn't put enough effort. Maybe you weren't listening in class. And I think when you do reach A-levels, you have that level of maturity to see, oh, this is what I did wrong. I have to fix that. And if you fix it, then you'll get what you're expecting. So what kind of things would you have in mind? You mentioned the time management. You mentioned uh, paying attention in class. Are there any other things that people should be aware of that they should uh, keep in check? I think... Uh, how, how did you do your note-taking, given that we're approaching a very digital era? People have all kinds of tips on these things. Yeah, note-taking. I mean, I, me personally, I didn't take many notes. I didn't find it very useful. I think rather than notes, I think if you understand the content, it will stay in your head. So doing past papers, doing questions, and then going over the stuff you got wrong, I think that's more important than taking notes. But if you understand the content, I think that's... And like really active part. recall probably active helps. Active recall, yeah. Um, because in some subjects, some element of memorization works. Like, uh, let's say, like some languages, writing papers, you can memorize certain phrases. But I think, um, I mean, you, you're obviously the expert. You'll be able to tell me better <laughs> on this. But some technical subjects, like say maths or computer science, like if they give you a problem, it's going to be quite unique to that situation. Not necessarily right, you can yeah. just memorize, memorize things it, and yeah. um, uh, go from there. So I think the study styles vary according to subjects. So you really found what you're good at, what you enjoy. And obviously you got your father's support, your whole family's support, and that really uh, propelled you forward. Yeah. So which A-level are you looking forward to the most? I think maths A-level. Oh, uh, further maths A-level seems the most challenging, but I am looking forward to you know getting on top of it. And that's obviously going to help you build the foundations for your computer science degree right, as well. Yeah. So are there any things that you, obviously you got your, the nines that you wanted, but are there any things that you would have done differently looking back now that you're uh, more mature at the end of your GCSE path? I think, I think I only started to really get my consistency, time managed, really start studying properly in the middle of year 11. I think if I started from a little bit earlier, I don't need to go as you know, severely as hardworking, always study, but if I put the time in, just maybe half an hour every day, I think I could have gotten all nines instead of missing out one or two. But I think it's important for our viewers to remember when we're talking about eights and nines, these are very uh, marginal things in that they're both worth an A star. So a few years ago, we would say A star is the highest grade, and now eights and nines are both the highest grade, which is making a slight differentiation in saying we got this many nines. It's like saying we got this many very high A stars. So these <laughs> students are getting very, very, very high A stars and then one mid A star. It's, it's still very many A stars. So massive congratulations thank to you, you to your family, you. to your your mentors, to your teachers, and of course, thank you again for joining us as a very respected member of the Channelist family.